After 12 years at Manchester United, 545 appearances at the club and winning 8 trophies for the Red Devils, David De Gea has finally left as a free agent. And it is not just that. He won the Golden Glove twice and he had the most clean sheets in the history of Manchester United. And he has confirmed the same on his social media pages. And Manchester United has done the same too. This is what David De Gea posted on his Facebook page. I just wanted to send this farewell message to all Manchester United supporters. I would like to express my unwavering gratitude and appreciation for the love from the last 12 years. We have achieved a lot since my dear sir Alex Ferguson brought me to this club. I took incredible pride every time I pulled on this shirt to lead the team to represent this institution, the biggest club in the world. And it was an honor that is only bestowed upon a few lucky footballers in an unforgettable and successful period since I came here. I did not think from leaving Madrid as a young boy would we would achieve what we did together. No, it's the right time to undertake a new challenge, to push myself again in new surroundings. Manchester United will always be in my heart. Manchester United has shaped me and will never leave me. We've seen it all. I must admit, David De Gea gave it all. He carried the team when they were down, especially during the era of Raf Ragnik and Ole Gunnar Sokja. But he was also getting a good pay, netting close to £375,000 a week, which was the highest. Was the next for Manchester United? They are on the verge of signing Cameroonian and Inter Milan's goalkeeper, Andrew Nana, whose progress during the Champions League was laudable. Man Manchester United are also reportedly interested in signing Japan's 2002 born Zion Suzuki. But, but what made Manchester United opt out of discussions with David De Gea? There are several reasons why Manchester United decided to search for an alternative goalkeeper. First, David De Gea is 33 years old, which means he's past his prime. They wanted to pave way for a progressive goalkeeper who is in his prime and Andre Onana at 27 is the perfect replacement for David De Gea. Second, the wages which David De Gea was getting at Manchester United were insane. Getting 375k grant week in week out was proving to be costly for the club. You might all argue that Manchester United is a rich club and that the amount was a drop of water in the ocean. Hear me out, Manchester United is a business like any other. For them to operate, they must make some good money and David De Gea as a commodity was not giving them the best ROE or if you like, return on investment. His merchandise was not selling well in the market and so they had to change tune and go for another option. Finally, David De Gea, despite his early exceptional performances, had become error prone. I have mentioned time and again. He costed Manchester United the Europa League together with Harry Maguire and was also a leaking bucket during the FA Cup final against the Rivals, Manchester City. Anyway, we wish you all the best, Dave, in the near future. You are a red and we all love you. Donny van de Beek is looking for the best club to play for, with AS Roma being a possible destination for the Dutch, who has struggled with injuries and lack of form since coming to Manchester United. If you are watching this video but you have not subscribed, do that right now.